So I see some people asking uh, for tutorials on how to use uh, SFM. And well, there's a lot of other channels out there that do a good job on uh, actually telling you how to animate. Uh, I plan to try to at least come up uh, with some here to do specific things that maybe I've learned that could help some people out. Uh, one of the things uh, I've kind of learned is copying uh, and things animation say from uh, a left leg to a right leg. Uh, so kind of co copying across the limb here. Uh, so for an example here, I kind of give my run cycle so that uh, only the left side is actually moving. Uh, when I actually created the cycle, it was only the one side that I animated and I actually copied it to the other. To do that, uh, as an example of how, how it doesn't work, if you wanted to say just copy left shoulder, you're like, well, okay, I'm going to paste it to right shoulder, you're going to notice it's not going to do anything. Uh, it's not going to change. When you selected left shoulder, it is saying, okay, I'm copying left shoulder. When you select right shoulder and paste, it's still saying, I can't find left shoulder. Uh, so what you can do, though, is inside of these sets, grab just the rotation for the left shoulder. If you copy that and paste it to the right shoulder's rotation, that does come over because you're copying a rotation and pasting to rotation. Um, it's going to look a little stranger, and I will fix that in a sec. So now we want to go and do that for the rest of the limbs here. And this one. All right. Animation is copied over. Uh, other than the fact she's trying to scratch her right here, uh, we'll want to fix that here. All you have to do is to give it a 180 spin. You can go in and actually change the rotation values to do an exact 180, but I think it's easier to just kind of do a cheat method here. If you get right next to the model, uh, and you get perpendicular so that that green line disappears, you're basically, uh, any spin you do here will be perfect. So, we'll spin that around until the green disappears again. So we're going to say right about... Yeah, that looks good. Um, now let's see how that looks. Alright, now you're kind of doing the bunny hop. You can do that for front and back legs, but the back leg is a little different, uh, mainly because the front leg shoulders are even or parallel with each other. The back legs aren't. So, for example, we'll do the exact same thing, copying the left leg to the right leg. So, grab the rotation, copy it over. Alright, and you see, notice the same thing kind of happened. Now she's just punching herself in the back of the head. Uh, you, If you want to fix it the same way, go grab the rotation. Get perpendicular to the limb. And just give it a little spin here. Now, you'll notice if you go from behind here that, yeah, it's not perfect. The leg's actually now crossing into the other one. Uh, to give that a fix, you sometimes just takes a little playing around with it, but it's mainly just kind of turning it out here. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to go for perfect, so that's close enough. Alright, now she's uh, going to do some hurdles here. Now, an easy way to fix the fact that now it is in sequence is... We'll close these up. Uh, let's grab all the left legs here. Oops. And if you hold Alt while you got your sequence set up here, you can actually drag these in time. So since these limbs right now are in sequence, if I hold Alt and just shift it a little bit, well now their other one's a little ahead. A little more. Alright, now that actually looks more like a run. Uh, you can kind of do it any way you want. That, that I don't know what that is. Uh, but there. Oh, that's even worse. There we go. Oh, no, back to hops. There we go. So, this is an easy way to get the limbs to actually copy to cross. You only have to make the animation for one side uh, and not have to worry about the other. It works best with the legs. You can do it with some other things, but it might take more tweaking. Uh, but it's easier to tweak than to actually just try to duplicate and create from scratch. Uh, this actually works with not just going across limbs, but going across models. So say you wanted to actually copy said, this entire run sequence to another model. 
Uh, I actually did that with the changeling model. It's not perfect, but it's a good base and a, a way to start. So I didn't have to actually create the run sequence for a whole new model. I just copied it from the other one. Um, doesn't work with all models. Uh, Celestia here, uh, she could use a little bit of tweaking. Uh, and yeah, that's... <laughs> it's entertaining, uh, but it... <laughs> It's gonna need some work, um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's it's easy to just kind of do. Um, if you have any other uh, ideas for for little tutorials on what might help other than just how to SFM, uh, leave it in the comments or uh, send me a message and I'll see if I can put something together for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching.